Hi everybody and welcome to Cut the Kibble. Today I'm going to make a treat. I haven't done a treat in a long time. Um, by a treat, I think I hear it coming. Uh, by a treat, come here Bella, you wanna clean with me? Come on sweetie, we can talk to everybody. Come here, oh, one second guys. So here's Miss Bella. Miss Bella ate a little chocolate last night. That's for another video, but she's fine. And anyway, by a treat, I always give Bella a treat at night before she goes to bed. Something um, like a biscuit or a cookie type of a texture. Or to If she has any acid in her tummy, it absorbs it. Uh, before I did this many years ago, both my Bichons would wake up in the morning and they sometimes would vomit a little like yellow stuff. But ever since I've done this little biscuit type thing, we don't have any problems. So let's start. Um, before we start, actually, I don't do any of my cookies, whatever you want to call them, with flour. I, I don't like to do flour uh, for my dog. I don't like to do flour for myself, though sometimes I do. Um, I don't like the GMOs. And you know, if you think about it, white flour, there's no nutritional value to it. Whole wheat flour that you buy from the store, there's no nutritional value in it. So today's treat I'm going to make with coconut flour. And it's gluten-free, vegan-free, organic, you name it, it is it. Uh, but it's good for dogs and um, we're gonna start now. So I'm gonna make a carrot cake cookie. And I have all the ingredients. I just thought this off the top of my head. I have all the ingredients. I wish I had pineapple, because pineapple is also good for dogs, but I don't. So, and of course I'm not gonna put raisins because dogs cannot eat raisins. So um, we're gonna start. And the first thing I wanna do is the carrots. I don't put carrots in Bella's food, her, her meals. Um, you know, it's high, it's high sugar, and that's basically, you know, why. Every now and then I'll give her a carrot and she'll eat it and it comes out. She doesn't digest it. So I am going to use this wonderful food processor. It's a little baby one. I just made my husband some hummus from it. It's just so convenient because it's small. It takes no time to um, clean it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm sorry, but this has to go for And you know what? I didn't put the third carrot in and, cause I was gonna do that with you guys, but now I'm holding a dog, which I'm gonna have to put down in a few minutes. This has three carrots. Uh, there were two big ones and the other one was not that big. I am gonna try to try to measure it. Oh, the baking. If the baking, you know, you need it. You need to know measurements for baking. Uh, but for, you know, cooking, it's, it's a different story. This looks so beautiful. I have to show you how it looks. I was tempted to shred it by hand. And I'm real lazy. I don't want to do that. But this is like, it looks like, a, you know, a, a snow cone. It looks like from a snow cone. Let's see if you can see how wonderful that that is. Okay, so she's gonna digest that. That's incredible. All right, so let me move this food processor and I will have to put her down and hopefully she'll behave. <clears throat> so, into the bowl, the first thing I'm gonna add is an egg and you know, you. You don't want to put any, dump flour in right away. You want to break the egg up, right? You always want to break the egg up. And you want to add all your wet ingredients first. So I had a little pumpkin left all over from last night because I did give her pumpkin because she ate, she ate 0.1 tenth of an ounce. I used my scale last night to make sure how much she ate. And she did vomit like 13 hours later, and she's been fine ever since. 
um, we'll, we'll do a video on chocolate toxicity another time. I'm gonna put a little bit of vanilla in. I'm gonna do a measuring, a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. You know, so, you know, I wanted to make a sweet treat for her because I never make sweet treats. All my treats, you know, they may have kale in it or, or carrots or something, but dogs love the smell of sweetness. I'm gonna put some honey in. Um, unlike cats, cats are not attracted to sweetness, sweet smell, but dogs are. And that's why you have to be careful with the chocolate because they just want to chomp on that. I'm going to put one tablespoon of honey in. And a, a trick, which I didn't do because I'm not that organized today, because my husband's home. Uh, Daddy, I'm videoing. He just walked in the door. Is you could spray this with some oil and then all the honey would have come off. All right, the next thing I'm going to put in are the three carrots. Let's put that right in there. And after this is all done, you know, she's not going to eat it all right away. I'm going to um, freeze some and I rotate. Just like I rotate my meals, I rotate my treats. I have blueberry treats, peanut butter treats, salmon treats, you name it. Okay. So now, oh, I did forget one thing and a very important thing. I want to go get some yogurt. So excuse me, I have my tripod right here where you are. Let me grab some yogurt. Okay. Something fell and it was the apple. I gave her an apple treat earlier. Okay, excuse me. So I don't want to use milk in recipes for her. I've never done that. So I don't want to do anything new. You know, I want to try, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. That's my thing. And if I am going to try something new, I gotta be in the right frame of mind. Um, I am dairy free and I am grain free, but I am gonna use yogurt. She, even though I'm dairy free, I do give her yogurt. Uh, a lot of people do goat's milk and goat yogurt. I, I'm not into, not that I'm not into it, but I've never done that. But this is um, a Greek yogurt, 0% fat. So that's good, because I don't wanna put a lot of fat in it because the coconut flour has fat. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start with a generous tablespoon because I want these treats to be moist. I don't want them to be dry, okay? And now I'm gonna mix this all around. I have the honey in here, the vanilla, the carrots. And now I'm going to add the flour. And I'm gonna add one cup of flour. I store my flour, this is not one cup. I store my flour, um, excuse me as I get, a half a cup. I store my flour in the freezer because I don't use it a lot and I want it, you know, to keep, especially if you have like, I have almond flour, put that in the freezer. Okay, so I'm gonna put one cup in, it's a half a cup and one cup. And I'm gonna sneak in some omega-3s, some pumpkin seed. This is a mixture, I always tell you about this. It's ground pumpkin seed with flax seed. I keep this in the freezer as well because the seeds can go rancid. And I grind it up in a food processor. I have a Vitamix, I use the Vitamix. I love my Vitamix. And I'm gonna do one, teaspoon of that, that's a, a heaping teaspoon, okay? And the last ingredient I'm gonna use is coconut. Now, when I was walking her, I was worried, thinking, oh gosh, do I have unsweetened coconut? Because I didn't want to put sweetened coconut in. And I'm lucky I had both in the house because my daughter, she loves to cook when she's home from college. But I'm using unsweetened coconut and I'm gonna put, um, like a third of a cup, but I wanted to put a, I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup in. 
okay? Now, one ingredient, I have it out, but I'm not gonna use it. I see people using baking powder, and the reason you use baking powder is so that your baked goods can rise. Oh, I gotta put some cinnamon in. Um, but I'm not really um, concerned about my cookie rising. It'll be just fine. And I'm gonna do a quarter of a teaspoon of the cinnamon. I will write the ingredients and the measurements in the comments below in the YouTube. Now, I'm gonna mix this together and I'm gonna just feel it. Right now, it feels dry. So I'm going to add some more yogurt. Another option would be to add another egg. But I think with one cup of flour, it still feels dry to me. And I don't want to use milk, so I'm going to add some water. If you don't, if you haven't gathered yet, I'm going to use the water from the food processor. This is my first time doing the recipe. And if it doesn't turn out, I won't post it, of course. So I'm going to add the water in and feel it. And I can tell it's getting there, but I'm going to do a little bit more water. I did maybe an eighth of a cup of water. If your dog drinks milk or has milk dairy, you can go ahead and put that in there, but mine doesn't. And guys, this is still not the consistency that I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another egg and I'm gonna bake it. And if the video turns out right, I'll post it. And if it doesn't turn out right, I won't. Okay, well, it's a nice day and I just felt like making this little girl a treat because she deserves it. That's it for Paula and Bella. Come here, Bella, you wanna say goodbye? Yeah, we're gonna give you some carrots, carrot cake. See ya.